So it's April, it's probably pretty rainy out there, so just stay in, stay dry, and have a really hot date. I'm gonna show you how to do a really easy British-inspired menu. Uh, we've got some lamb, some peas, some roasted potatoes, and a very, very simple um, Guinness and chocolate float. So this is Hot and Easy, and I'm Caroline Wright. Just trying to find a baby, I just need a little baby. Just trying to find a baby, I just need a little baby. I have here with me my friend Mark. He loves lamb. Mm -hmm. So this is the perfect date night meal for you, huh? Yeah. All right, so let's do, um, get our potatoes in the oven. Do you want to throw these potatoes on yeah. the pan? I'm just going to put a, a little bit of oil with it. And you can go ahead and um, toss that too. I'm gonna give you some salt and pepper, just get this going. There you go. It doesn't have to be uh, too generously coated. Potatoes do pretty well in the oven all on their own. So I'm actually gonna pop these in the oven and then we're gonna get the lamb started. This is a 400 degree oven. They're gonna go into the oven for about 25 minutes total, but it gives us a lot of extra time to do everything we need to. So these are, um, two French lamb rib chops. These are double cut because they have two ribs on them. And so they've been French, which means that the sort of meat and fat and things have been removed from between the bones, which just makes oh. it a little prettier, a little more festive. Oh. We're supposed to season these generously with salt and pepper. Should we well, flip them as well and season? Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do that because I don't wanna get your hands okay. all lamby. Yeah. And so we have this really hot pan over here actually already. Um, so as you can see, and we'll be able to tell by the noise, um, you just wanna get your pan searing, searing hot. These are just gonna go for about three to four minutes aside, just really looking for a dark uh, caramelized brown color. Um, and so we'll get back to you in just a second once they're already all caramelized and delicious. Okay, so we have our nice and brown lamb rib chops here. They've just been going in a really hot skillet for a couple of minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the pan that I've already put in the oven, the 400 degree oven, with the potatoes. And Mark, if you'll help me out, we can throw yeah. these onto the pan anywhere you like. Okay. See, it's, it's really easy. These cut, this cut of meat actually, because it's a little bit thicker, you're going to want to cook it indirectly like this. It's my favorite way anyway. And so at a 400 degree oven, this double thick French lamb rib chop is going to take about 10 to 12 minutes to be great and juicy. And we'll be right back to show you this simple side and a very easy chocolate and Guinness float. So these guys just came from a 400 degree oven. They ended up being about 15 minutes for this thickness. Um, so what we're gonna do is just let them sit, just put them on my cutting board, let them sit for a minute. Like always, meat likes to rest a little bit, just get the juices going back into it. But if, actually, if you wanna to toss these potatoes with this tablespoon of um, capers and tablespoon of parsley, um, be extra delicious. So we're just gonna let these sit for just a second. Scooch these over here. And I'm gonna show you how to make a really, really simple dessert. Go ahead and scoop that ice cream into yeah. these two float glasses. Okay. Just deal with whatever um, best quality chocolate ice cream you can find. So you're gonna want a generous amount of chocolate ice cream and then he's just gonna go ahead and pour the uh, Guinness over the chocolate ice cream for a delicious float. I'm gonna go ahead and plate these before um, we get our peas going, which is our last very simple side. Just put a little bit of this on a plate. So right here I have a 10 ounce package of peas that have just come from the microwave. Um, they were thawed with a quarter cup of water and just a little bit of butter. I have a tablespoon of butter here. So just take a regular potato masher and we're just gonna smash these peas. Doesn't have to be too, too finely pureed or anything. I'm gonna season them a little bit with salt and pepper. It'll work perfectly with this delicious British meal. So there we go. Thanks for stopping by Hot and Easy, and we're gonna start with dessert first, because we might as well, right? So happy April, I hope you're staying dry. And thanks for coming to the kitchen thanks with me, Mark. Thanks for having me. Yeah, definitely. Just trying to find a baby, I just need